have duck bills and rabbits breed with deer to create super murder hoppers where everything is actively trying to kill you the iron wombat does what he can to not fail so hard and he's not doing well 
Strap yourselves in for one wild ride. And welcome to Iron Wombat Gaming. Well, what's up, everyone? Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'm Iron Wombat, and this is Iron Wombat Gaming coming to you from Sydney, Australia, where a bee stick is, in fact, a unit of measurement. So, without further ado, as I'm sure you could all appreciate and are aware of, I'll be jumping in to Star Wars The Old Public again. Um, I know that I'll be joined by Hero this evening. I'm not sure if he's in the voice chat yet or not. Oh, I think he is, but he will be joining me soon. Um, yeah, well, without further ado, let's um, let's get this started then. Move across. How are we? Oh, we are good. Lovely. Yes, quite. <laughs> All right. Um, what am I doing now? Just loading the game. And once loaded, uh, yeah, I want to get stuck into the store. I also your voice sounds clearer this evening. Really? I I guess maybe it's because the uh, headset microphone is basically in my mouth. Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, pull it back a bit because I can hear your breaths in between. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. The older public. Um, I have to change the display capture to turn that on. There we go. And turn off game capture just for now. All right. Um, I'm ready to get stuck into it. I'll just hit that. Play button as I'm continuing on my story as esoteric. You still eating or are you or are you good? Yeah, I'm still in here. Okay. Mm. I gotta pump through my missions then. Yeah, yeah. I'm at the uh, outpost. The outpost? Okay. Um, right now I'm at where your next next mission is. I know I've gotta destroy um the Balmora Arms Factory, because all my quests are leading there. Okay, here we go. Oh, hang on. Just find that general chat just for a second. Oh, hello. Sehet National has already joined the group. I'll accept. Apparently, oh. I've... Oh, hey, you're up on me. Game analysis module. Uh, I don't need that. Morgan rewards. And this. More well, rewards coming up soon. Might that look fine. Okay. There you are. It's it's Sahet Nash. I always hear mash in my head when somebody says that. What did I get? I wonder if my chat box is working. Tick, I'm just going to type something here. Oh, it is working. Okay. I'm going crazy then. Alright. <laughs> and. We go down here first. Talk to all the people that's there. Ah. Oh, did you, um. Yeah. You almost unalived yourself. You knocked off half your life. It shattered shins on go. landing. Wee. I like to live dangerously. <laughs> ah, yeah. Dangerously. You know, it gets a little bit dangerous. You know, just how to make ends meet. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit dangerous. Talk to you, Colonel Rain. For these Today, the Balmoran resistance, backed by the government in exile, takes its last pitiful gasp. We have you to thank. It won't be long before the corpse of former defense minister Vol Argen is cold in the ground. I hope to be the one to kill this defense minister. <laughs> yeah, I hope the so resistance, too. aided by the Republic, has made its headquarters in the Balmoran Arms Factory. It is a heavily fortified facility, but it's not invulnerable. Not with such powerful patriots as yourselves on our side. The factory will be destroyed by nightfall. I vow it. Destroyed by nightfall. If we may impose on you for one final task in service of the glorious yeah, empire. 
We need you to break into the factory, shut off its power, and use the period of panic to shut down security. You're gonna know what I want to do. Once with him. this is done, the main attack force can sweep in and wipe out the resistance. The and if you see Volargan, kill him. Okay. It's an honor to serve. Word is thought. the resistance at the factory have the Republic. I think I know what I'm gonna do with him. They'll be well equipped this? and well trained. For anyone okay. else, this would be He's a suicide mission. He's gonna get a redemption mission. arc. I wouldn't consider it. Ooh. But I have a good yeah. feeling about you. I'm still going to be evil the whole way through. Right up until a certain point. I think I'll decide when he gets the redemption arc. I'll figure it out. Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Nocturne okay. was the most famous killer in the galaxy, oh. but he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. Did any of the gang survive the encounter? You mean anyone that wasn't owned as property? No. Oh, wow. They did not. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. I'm surprised he allowed a child to make that kind of decision. He was like that. Never once talked differently to me. Not sure he really understood yeah, kids. I, need to kids I was at all. the smallest on the crew. You there, and child slave. Let us treat you like an adult. Nox crew so creepy. Steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. Even the small action of taking gave you control of your life. That is everything. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? He's gonna date Vet. Okay, that's done. Running around with a half, sorry, one quarter Sith. One quarter human, one half Twi'lek baby. There's a wild assumption though. I don't know what his um, genealogy is really like. Alright, in I go. Let's have a chat here with Darth Lacris and Governor. You know the worst part, Governor. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't. Exactly. You didn't even own up to your mistakes. That's why the Dark Council gave this planet to me. Hey. Please watch and enjoy. Bang! I'm Darth Lacris, and I've been tasked with cleansing Balmora. I'm glad you came. More Sith can only bring much needed dignity. People need firm control. No, not I don't time. care if you rule one planet or a thousand. Nobody wastes my time. <laughs> to business then. You're all here because I asked the governor to bring me his best. Balmora has a problem. My friends of the resistance, this I won't guy. take much time. The Empire says it owns Balmora. The Republic says it's yours. We're gone. But you and I know Balmora's one with sweat and tears. And my boys will stand by your side until everyone knows it. Grand Marshal Jaqueta, formerly of the Republic Army. Officially, he and his troops went rogue after the Republic withdrew from this sector. Ever since, they've been holed up under siege, aiding the resistance and fortifying their position. You may have met their scouting parties already. Is there anyone on Balmora who isn't fighting yeah. the Empire? Now you understand my displeasure with the previous administration. Jaqueta and the Resistance are based in the Balmoran Arms Factory, home of the brightest engineers in the galaxy. I'm told the factory's generators are inexhaustible, its defenses cutting edge, its barricades block our scans, giving the Resistance peace and privacy. What am I supposed to do about it? Break it. Yeah, break it. Have I been too friendly? Right. You're here to serve. Jaqueta may have officially gone rogue, but the Republic still supports him. They fund his revolution from the shadows, make supply drops in secret. 
Those Republic hypocrites want the arms factory as do a I, do I spoil something? And as Balmora's new governor, I say we take it before they mount a full invasion. I will burn our enemy's fortress to the ground. I swear it. Obliterate the factory defenses. Lower the barricades that block our scans, and I'll have an army at your back. And if we can, bring me proof of Republic involvement on Balmora. We'll expose their lies on a galactic stage. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna play the, um... The Jedi Knight storyline. Uh, have you ever played it yet, or nah? No, not yet. Do you want, can I spoil something for you about this, or nah? Yeah, go for it. So, Darth Lacrys, um, you know there's a Republic plot where you um, end up as the Republic invading and re attempting to liberate Balmora. Darth Lacrys is one of the main people that you get to execute. Ooh. Yeah, so she doesn't stick around for long. That makes sense. Yeah. This. So now it's everything is Balmoral Balmora. Balmoran Arms Factory. So we're gonna go back up on this lift here. And I gotta go for a run. I say run, I meant to. Uh, hmm. Should I mount my beast or my armored tauntaun? Tauntaun? Look at this thing. Look at too fluffy. Look at this thing. Look at it! Look at it! It's ridiculous! But not as ugly and ridiculous as... Oh, I can't do it while I'm already mounted, huh? How about you? I like this one better. This cat ugly dog. looking hell beast. Cat <laughs> dog. Alone in the world's a little cat dog. How's this song going? No! I, I remember, I memorized the whole song. This is embarrassing. One fine that day with a wolf and a purr, a baby was born a custom stir. No little bunny, no three eyed frog, the feline, canine, little cat dog, cat dog, cat dog. Blow in the woods, little cat dog. Some murders here, that might mean. Those are the violent variety. Clear on that. You guys can stop shooting now. I'm gonna keep shooting at nothing. They're throwing gra grenades at nobody there. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Bricks. I want your side, asshole. So we gunning it ahead? Yeah, I'm just gonna go run right through. I'm not gonna fight everybody. Skip all the assholes. The arms factory is. Oh, I went the wrong way. That's my. That's my oh, name. I was following the wrong way. person. Yeah. <laughs> Like, where do you go? <laughs> I'm like, where am I going? See ya, pricks. Yep, you can shoot me if you want, but oh crap. I went the wrong way, too. path around. I was gonna go into like a heroic area for like no reason. What's this guy's oh, name? His name is what? Regulus? Oh okay. Well, have fun buddy. We're level 25. What are you level? You're level 19. Oh jackass. I'm being mean to a stranger I've just met on the internet. <laughs> I didn't even meet him probably. I've seen him. Got no reason for me to be angry at him. Noob. <laughs> Raz, you're running past. No. I've got new sound alerts now as well. Ooh, I'll have to check them out later. Yeah. One of them is uh, Dumb Ways to Die. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect for, for online gaming. Oh, you're definitely going to hear it a lot if uh, we mm -hmm. end, you end up getting Red Dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? No. <laughs> you know, there's actually a game that's based off that, that the producers of the song have produced. Yes. So I think it's called Dumb Ways to Draw. Oh, it's actually also called Dumb Ways to Draw. Eh? Yeah. It, it's I'm it's actually pretty fun. Victory's coming, boys. 
Get repetitive pretty quick, but still fun. Hey, you didn't want your damn. Alright, we're destroying everything that we come across. I help that guy? He pulled the whole factory. What is he doing? Cool. I'll leave him, because if he's there, then he's probably taking out quests. I have to wait forever and a day for the cooldowns to finish. And there's a robot there. Oh, that stuff up. Yeah! That's gone. Need that last droid over there. Hey, Marshal Chiquetta here. I want to talk about sacrifice. My troops and I just forget how much of a. Juketa is almost like he's trying so hard to be motivational. Yeah, it sounds very cheesy. Yeah. That's the real deal. You guys are like cliche whitewashed uh, colonel in any like military movie that tries to be inspirational. Yeah, that's what it's like. And he's not even the main character, you just listen to his inspirational speech, and in your mind you're thinking, most of these guys are gonna die. That's what it's like. Yeah. Maybe that was intentional. Nobody I can see you one over there. Now. I like making a mess. Yeah, sure. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Over here. Two more control panels. Top here, and one to the left there. Let me grab this control panel first. That one. The last one. This is Grand Marshal Chiquetta. I've been hearing grumblings. People saying the Republic's oh, abandoned Bamboo. Well, so I may not be the hubs. Republic anymore, but I'm still a patriot. So don't say it to my face. I like how he blatantly so lied saying so that he's choice, not Republic Army anymore. Republic yeah. Still behind you. We know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. That one down. I'm gonna have to kill somebody anyway. Did anybody find me somebody to murder? So they shooting at me? Good job. <laughs> This is what I think. Like you just know that the front gate is heavily fortified, and you just see this one bloke with a laser sword and glowing red eyes, and you ask yourself, "Do I really want to get involved in this right now?" You know what it I mean? Really, your job right now? <laughs> yeah, it's just like I'm just uh, gonna do a bit of a walk, really. You know, I don't you have your run in the middle of the factory. I'm not here to fight. I'm just yeah. <laughs> You have fun? shooting at me first. Yeah, you can pop that too. Okay, down they go. Uh, now I've got to kill... 
Volagen. Uh, I know where he is. Hey, yo, Volagen. There's a bit of a choke. Bit of a. Ah! He's really dead. <laughs> it's like a shade just throw through down a friggin' series of flamethrower nonsense. Alright, I've got to set to tank mode. I should change that. To damage. Yeah. You know what? I was wondering why that was so slow. They're in the way. <laughs> that one flying. Yeah, you did. Why is your lightsaber blue? Aren't you like mad evil? Or is it something stupid like cyan? No, it's, it's a blue one. Okay. Maybe I just stole it for my Jedi. Uh, creative acquisition. I like it. Yeah. This is must be the going hand in the quest. Which means that the rest of them is. Oh, no, no, first. Okay. oh hang on. Well, uh, I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> you murdered all of them without me. Yep. I mean, think about the the, the concept of having a blue light Oh yeah. You're you're on the front line. You're, you're you're being defeated, and all of a sudden you're the Republic side, yeah. and you see a blue light saber. You think, yes, the Jedi here to save us. We're going to turn the tide of war. And then, no. but no. Like, why are you They're staring not. at me? <laughs> why is he... Just seeing their just the hope drain from their faces. Oh yeah. Like, right. full Sith mode right there. Mm-hmm. Right, Volar again. It's a wrap. Yeah. Darth Lacris, can you read me? I'm lowering the barricades to the Balmoran Arms Factory. I hear you perfectly. We'll start scanning the interior now. Hold on. Someone cut through this interference. Pardon my interruption. I'm Grand Marshal Takeda, formerly of the Republic Army. So, you're the proud leader of these gutless wonders. <laughs> if they're so gutless, why haven't you beaten them after all these years? I'm not a complete fool. We are Once I realized you planned oh, to yeah. lower our defenses, I sent a few friends. Was that a Jedi? Jedi it is. Raylon Niss, reporting. Tempest Squad, reporting. You better get murdered Fresh by an apprentice. Who have taken a leave of absence to join the Balmoran Resistance. Taste of what's coming. I expect me to believe line. these people are acting without Republic orders. <laughs> They're violating the peace treaty by supporting the resistance. Raylon, are you here on Republic orders? No, sir. There you yeah. go. He's like, see? Go, Jedi go. never lie. But they do. They lie frequently. <laughs> you know what? I like that. Just, uh... Alright, so you fight the Jedi. No, never mind. I'll fight the Jedi. Alright. On Raylon, get a brick. Electrocuted and beaten the crap out of. Reflection, crushing darkness, trigger chase lightning. Dead. This channel is nice. Still Did you get her? Send a Jedi. Along with a Go. special forces team, he claimed they weren't with the Republic. I'm sure he did. Yep. My people are performing a full scan of the factory now that the defenses are down. I'll patch you into the report. My lord, we're detecting unusual signals from inside the factory. What appears to be a, a hyperspace beacon. It shouldn't be possible. It must have taken them decades. Don't underestimate their engineers or their resources. What can you do? In theory, starships could follow the beacon and jumping system almost directly overhead. That's right. The Republic is flying reinforcements straight to the Balmoran Arms Factory and bypassing our defenses. You know where to look. Scan for enemy transports approaching the factory. Picking up. There are dozens of ships out there. Silhouette is Republic Special Forces. Triumph class. This is how oh, they did it during the war. Multiple strike teams, strategic objectives, one Jedi per military squad. 
They took entire planets. They know we see them. They're rushing to land now. Yay, mass slaughter. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. If they're heading to the factory, we can stop them from the ground. Agreed. Take out the landing platforms and guidance systems. I'll have attack squadrons blow those ships out of the sky. Oh, yeah. Fail me now, and we perish with Balmora. That's right. What the story? Upgraded item. Wait, is it an upgrade though? Oh, it just increases absorption and. Yeah, uh, it is what it is. Oh, good lord. Oh, goodness. Hang on. I just realized what song is playing right now. I'll just skip that. It's a Christmas song. Better replace. Oh, yeah, the 150 rating has got to go. Because I need more defense and absorption. Doesn't matter how pretty the armor is. Defense and absorption as a tank is key at the Nobody moment. Better mess with us now. Oh, there's one more thing. Vet, I need you to do something for me. Sell all my trash, please. You'll miss me. Yep. That may be. Excuse me. Hiccups. Need to be a thing of the past. Okay. Go this way. I'm having a sinking. Which quest could I do first? And you know what? I'll do the repelling the invasion quest because there's a bit of urgency behind that, even though it's not technically timed. I'm going to pretend that it's actually time because of who I am as a person. Look, look how much, how much electricity. Look at that. Very cool. Beautiful. Okay. Came in, came back. Sell the low quality crap. Nice. Built it. A bit of explosive. How did that look from your screen from where I'm at? You just see these lightning bolts and then this red lightsaber darting between enemies. Pretty much. And, and then there's everything falls and you just end up at the last enemy. Oh yeah. What? That was really strong. Jeez. Unlimited power. Unlimited. Is that the look you're going for with her? What did I just do? You return to the entrance. This is silly. <laughs> gonna go on. Why is that even there? The entrance is right there. I think it's for people wanting to leave. And although I don't know why you would just fast travel out. Yeah. Okay, um. I'm just gonna start killing Republic things. I'm really annoyed at this. I gotta go back in this way. Oh. Yeah, I gotta go back in here. That was dumb. Did I return? Yeah, I'm coming back. You didn't come with me, did you? No, I nearly did though. I thought it was a lore object and then I was me like, too. no, I would have gotten that. Gosh damn cool. Oh yeah, what's really annoying? I don't have stealth, so I can't um I'm just gonna pull the whole factory, I don't care. We can take him. Good thing I'm a tank. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise I would have been mauled to death by now. You would have been Darth Maul. <laughs> Shit. 
shoot into me, keep it hitting me. This way. Oh, oh, good. Whoa, good. Keep running, running. Uh, this is here. You're gonna follow me onto the lift, sucker. It's a high friggin' time and energy. Okay, I'm here now. That's why they're all still dead. Excuse me. Oh, where was I? Oh, yes, yeah, this button here. I should just. <laughs> all right, destroy all these things. Fairest and the foremost. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, there's a place where I can sell my shit at too. Please use all products only as intended. Junk. Need that, don't need that. Do that. Oh, I'm just gonna sell this armor. Keep that for vet, and that for vet too. Keep that for now. And okay. Vet, listen, Vet, here, yeah, you take all these influence items because we're going to be best buddies. Great, thanks. Wow, I love it. Alright, so she loves all the gifts I gave her. Beautiful. Now, what was I breaking down? Uh, these things over here. These landing towers. Oh, look at that. Republic veterans. Okay. Yes, it's not any of the green at all, huh? Oh, okay. Just gonna commit a whole bunch of obviously bloody murders. That's down. There's another one over here. You had to go into the disgusting cesspit tank with your, with your current character, I should say, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, it's gross. You literally have to drink a drug to protect you from the radioactive waste. It was because the colocoids developed a taste for it. And this yeah, it's just fallout. Yeah, that's what it is. They're 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 glorified rad roaches. Mm. There's nothing. There was nothing rad about those roaches. Okay, now we gotta disable the ships, the landing platforms. There's one. Nobody will mess with us yet. Let's before they get to it. One down. This is Darth Nacos. 
Our ships are closing on the Republic transports. Keep destroying those landing pads, and there will be no escape for the enemy. It's your lightsaber running through there like that. No idea. Jousting. Jousting, uh, that's right. Jousting, yeah. Definitely joust, yeah. Yeah, definitely joust, yeah. Imagine being that robot, then suddenly being beset upon by a Jedi you like and a Sith. Probably freak out wondering what this guy You'd be on. like, I'm a droid. I didn't realize I could be programmed to feel things. Why, do, why did you program me to feel things? I'm a droid, you bricks. But you didn't have to do this to me. This is cruel. I'm a droid and I am not programmed to feel. Yet somehow I feel a sense of. Yeah. Shame. Shit. Six Republic transports. I'm calling in additional ground-to-air weaponry. Oh. 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 On his foot. <laughs> Legend. Oi! No, you, you keep uh, you, you keep getting distracted. Looks like you, the cloth wearer, is uh, getting still in the tank and probably. Alright, that's done. We're gonna move on to being inside the factory. Only a few targets remain airborne. They've got nowhere to go. One transport slipped past us. I'm sending in ground troops. Right over this way. You intercept that ship at oh, yeah. the factory's upper landing pad. No one survives this attack. Eh, eh, I can't get through. Oh, there we go. That's because your boy be too thick. Oh, he be a thick boy. Boy likes to snack, leave him alone. <laughs> so, here, what, what's he snack on? Whole hog. Now when you say whole hog, is that a candy of some kind? I meant the whole damn pig. Hey, let's go. After this one, my quest is on the inside. The class quest. Where I gotta kill my um, spy. And the Jedi. Yes, my lord. Oh, work. Alright, Vol Argon. Yeah. Elite Guard. Oh, Chiquetta's Elite Guard. Oh, you, you don't work for the Republic anymore. Then why'd you get to have your own Elite Guard, Chiquetta? Getting a bit close to that explosive thing over here, mate. Mate, come let us teach you why we are masters in OH. <laughs> no, it's like an OHS issue. Especially when you like live on, in a universe where space wizards exist. We kill this guy. Like as if you would be like, I'm gonna stand next to this. We're at war. Uh, this will be fine. It's totally safe. Space Wizard then explodes it. Go forth, check it out. Here we are. Let's start the conversation. The fleet may be lost, but my Padawan and I can hold the Imperials while you regroup. I bet you can. No, you've got your ship. We've got a few of our own. I want you to get the non combatants and the wounded off Balmora. It's not gonna happen. After we handle this, you're damn tough, you know that? Uh. If we tried talking from the beginning, we might not be in this mess. Anything's possible, I suppose. 
Light is I've got Jedi at my back in the finest armor Balmoran Arms ever designed. Ignore the scratches. We can cover your escape. Nah. Let's see what an old man can do for his troops. He's a lot. <laughs> he can fly. That's right, you can't. They had the same trick. Yep. You can't really hurt him until um, his armor goes down. When you kill this the Padawan, she can't heal. What's much he's got left on his armor? He's got 12 seconds left on his armor. Interesting. Strangle him the second his armor drops. Spot him. <laughs> That conversation. Good fight. You've got, well, Spot. you've got something I don't have anymore. I am Sith. Next to me, you are nothing. <laughs> Maybe so. Hear me out. Okay. I know how much the Empire wants to expose the Republic's involvement in Balmora yeah, publicly. He doesn't stick to I his guns. I confess the truth of the invasion if you help my men. Dead Jedi, Republic transports. Even before I came to the factory, I met squads of Republic troops. Why do I need your confession? Because you know the truth, but the rest of the galaxy doesn't. And they'll trust my word over yours. Let the Balmorans and the non-combatants leave. Treat the Republic soldiers fairly, as prisoners of war. See, the end goal is I want to expose the Republic. And tell everyone we violated the treaty. But the problem is, if I do get that manipulated confession out of him, I have to show mercy. War crimes. I don't know, man. Because the rationale behind the Sith wanting to expose the Republic is to get people to defect from the Republic to join them. Do you get what I mean? Mm, very much. All right. You know what? Forget it. I'll show mercy just this time. The Empire isn't without mercy. We can come to an agreement. I appreciate that. Just for now. Because the story changes. Sounds kind like the troops made it inside. You do that. Keep your word. I'll keep mine. Uh, when you yeah. broadcast your confession, tell the Republic to disarm and withdraw from Imperial space. Nothing like Balmora can happen again. Just for now. You're only delaying the inevitable. But I'll say it. Sir, Squad 815, Darth Lacra sent us to reinforce your position. Take the Grand Marshal into custody. We're done for now. Understood. For now. There's fighting all over the factory, but it looks like a victory. Orders are to regroup at the outpost when you can, sir. I'll make up for it with more evil stuff later on. This is more of a... For the Empire long-term goal kind of deal. I feel sad. Oh, no. Should have killed him. <laughs> I chose the dark side option. Uh, but you did. But I've got more dark side points than you, so I think I can stand to lose a little bit of dark side. I said I'd kill him. I just kill? chose the dark side option. Yeah. Because I don't need your confession. Quite much. I went the wrong way, that's on me. Listen, Republic Invader is fighting all over the factory, but it looks like a victory. You know what? Is this the right way? No, it's this way. Anyway. Straight down the shaft. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. I gotta go over here. Is it around the corner from my quest? Yes, it is. Yeah. 
continue on. So what happened with Darth Barris? One of his spies were exposed in the spy network. We have to kill him. And the Jedi was on route. The factory is under attack. Headquarters has been breached and casualties are severe. Keep your wits, Captain. What do we know of the enemy? Target is carving a bloody path in this direction. Unconfirmed reports suggest it's Sith. It's weird. Okay. Consider them confirmed. <laughs> Commander, contact confirmed. The enemy is Sith. Repeat, the enemy is... I can see that, Captain. Shut up. Okay. Sith, I know why you're here. Be aware that these are the finest troops I commanded in all my decades of duty. I'll take pride in slaughtering them. Captain mm -hmm. Ellerton, engage at will and hold the line. I'm coming with reinforcements. Right on out. You're about to find out what we're made of. Okay. Paper. You're made of bones that break and blood that spills. <laughs> you don't intimidate us. We've killed your kind before. Oh, he's got the husky voice and everything. You've never even seen my kind before. You're about to find out otherwise. Men, attack! These guys were the best. Like it. Who was loose? Commander. You should have been here by now. In ten seconds? Nah. It wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> this means he's safe. That's all that matters. Oh, yeah, safe. Please, enough Cameras of this. Out. Commander, no! Run! Save yourself! His mustache is disgusting. Sith. I think it would be so much more poignant if you pull the trigger. Commander, what, <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Goodbye, Captain. No. Well, that was dark. Okay, see you. Can't Good. believe. No way to make up for it. It's Benches unfortunate leaning. they were on the wrong side. They were excellent soldiers and exceptional men. They died like dogs. <laughs> it was difficult betraying them. You can't bleed with a man and not form a bond. Yet with their defeat, the Empire's cause is advanced. Today was inevitable. I knew Lord Barris would eventually have to eliminate me. But I'm proud to have been of service all this time. I won't be mean. Any last requests? If I may, there is one thing. Okay. My son. He was the only thing in the world that was truly mine. And in love or weakness. I told him my secrets. Well, I killed him already. I know you had to cover my tracks, but please tell me, did he face his fate well? Oh, I don't want to be evil. No, I do. You whimpered like a craven coward. I see. You've crushed my spirit. Now the death of my body is a formality. <laughs> when they find my corpse, there wow. must be evidence of a valiant fight. You must make this look convincing, Sith. So I will not hold back. I will fight you as though you are my mortal enemy. You're standing with a melee range. Maybe I'll break a sweat. Then arm yourself. Tell Lord Barris it has been my great honor to serve him. Even if he was in melee range, my force leap puts me right in front of him in seconds. What the? Wrong, wrong way. Hang on. All right, up you gun. There he goes. That was pretty explosive. All right, Darth Bear ass. My lord, I believe we've got trouble. I heard your entire conversation with Commander Rival. Okay. How could you hear my conversation? Have you been spying on me, Imperial? No, oh, my lord. As yes. I told you, I've been surveilling the Jedi Investigator. Apparently, she bugged Rylor's quarters. And as she listened in on your conversation, I heard what she heard. The investigator knows everything, my lord. The same can be said of you now. Yes, but I pose no risk to Lord Barris. If this investigator gets away, 
She'll expose everything. She will. She was heading to her ship. Because I had my men move in and cut her off from the Republic landing bay. I am systematically blocking her avenues of transmission and escape. Herding that Republic scum to her only hope. The spaceport at Sobrik. Yay. I will be there soon. I'm afraid there's more, my lord. My men who engaged her report that she's wielding a lightsaber. It seems this investigator is a Jedi Knight. I advise caution when facing her. Yeah. Killing Jedi is old hat for me. <laughs> but my concern is unfounded. My apologies. I will gather my remaining men. Jedi's old hat. <laughs> we will crush this Jedi. I have never heard that turn of phrase before. Oh, yeah, that's very old. Like, very old. Uh, I guess it's the whole purpose of the, the Imperials is supposed to be very, um... Chip, chip, cheerio. Yeah, what not, all that jazz. Interesting choice of accent for them, though. <laughs> I must say. Just a bit. And the Republic as well. Oh my god. I just made the connection. Aiding out the British Empire. Yep. On the yeah, Republic you can, is yeah, teleport, don't you? Oh yeah, what am I doing? Because I've done everything else. Everything else is in Sobrik now, isn't it? Just make sure and, that. And we're in Sadara, I think. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me. Um... Yeah, I'll just port to Sobrik. Oh no, not Sobrik. Hang on, that's wrong. To Sundari. Because I've got to hand in the quest there before I go to Sobrik. running that way and slither down well it didn't work for me I just dropped to my I shattered my shins again it's alright you'll heal by the time the conversation's over <laughs> you've got a vet I do have a vet All better. hello Colonel Brain I've heard more satisfactory reports of your success in the Balmoran arms factory and that fool Bol Argon played right into our hands there can be no doubt the resistance is crushed. They put up a good fight, but I think they'll be more agreeable now. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Captain Rigel is in charge of writing up the report on this one. If I could ask you for one final favor, that you report your success to him. That's right, he's in Sobrik as well. And then we'll go over to... What's her name? Darth Lacris? What a weird name. Go. Hey, Vet. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Oh. Hey, how you doing? Where's that from? It's a goblin from World of Warcraft. Oh, hey, hey how you doing? Hey, how you doing? That's right. I'm his money friend. That's it. Where well, are you coming up to this conversation or nah? Nah, I'm already uh, in the okay. Darth Lacris. Grand Marshal Chaketa is defeated, and the Balmoran Arms Factory is broken. You smell like smoke and blood. Let me show you something. Here comes that confession. My forces received supplies and intelligence from the Republic. We knowingly and illegally attacked Imperial targets by order of the Senate. We broke the peace treaty that keeps our world whole, and for that, I apologize to all citizens of the galaxy. Okay, it's a confession. There are protests on the streets of Coruscant. Republic ships are withdrawing from three sectors. You humiliated them. The Republic may have lost face, but they're not going to stop attacking. No, but who really wants that? I'm gathering troops for a clean sweep of the Balmoran Arms Factory. I'm making it my base of planetary operations. My governorship would be very different without you. You have my gratitude for your assistance. This planet is only the beginning. 
There are more enemies to defeat and conquer. You will hey. go far among the Sith. I'm certain of that. It's time I return to ruling. There are new reports of resistance activity. Should you choose to remain on Dalmora, okay. perhaps I'll call on you again. Yeah, I don't want it to deal with you right first. Okay, let's have a look. I need, that's warding, redoubt, assault, and retribution. Our defense rating ones. Um, gives a chance to grant an absorb shield. Oh, defense rating or an absorb shield. No, I want defense rating better. Okay, I got my conquest points. Am I still at dark two? Oh, and I'm back to dark one. All right, well, I gotta get myself back to dark two again. You shouldn't have been a goody two shoes then. I shouldn't have, no. So it would seem. So that means it's very easy to get a redemption arc. Ugh. Should have been a baddie one shoes. Or to Captain Rigel and Mississippi Jedi Knight. Oh, that one is gonna be um I'll get my dark side points back anyway, I'm sure. Oh certainly. In do blah 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 blah. So I'm only semi dark when I look at things. Is this a sacrifice I had to make for the Empire? Chip, chip, cheerio. With all that jazz. Okay, now, um... Where is that space thing? Where I get to fly around? Ah, oh, taxi, of course. Back to Sobrick. <laughs> Yards. Trying to think when I want to start a redemption arc. No, I mean, is there a redemption story arc later on or the newest stuff? Kind of. You can go through it. Playing. This is playing. <laughs> Dumb. Ways to die. How are you going, Dissilus? First things first. Let's have a chat with this guy over here. On conservation. Well, this is certainly a happy day for all of us, isn't it? The whole resistance is in shambles. The feeble spirits are broken. Balmora is as good as ours. Fear and intimidation. The Empire's greatest weapons. The Sith way to die. Are the Empire's <laughs> greatest <laughs> weapon. We cannot possibly thank you I think you if done correctly, it's very hard to do. Trying to win this war, and you've done it in a arc. fraction of the time. Thank you. Like it's a very difficult um, thing to get done correctly. Like you have to have a reason for it, and it can't just be because you feel guilty about the shit you've done before. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to start off a certain way. Hang on a minute. This is, um, the warrior hanger. Oh, it must be over here. Okay. Here we go. You couldn't get in until I got in, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't you? Alright, you're a benefactor for some reason. What are you benefacting? Good storyline. Oh, yeah. yeah. Best, best I can. There she is. Jedi Knight, not Marshmallow. Hello. Ah. Uh, oh. 
Not too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you Storms. and Commander Rylan to the Jedi Council. Noman Kar has his proof. Now Master Kar and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. I'll let you enjoy your delusions. Enjoyment is not part of the equation. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. How incredibly boring. <laughs> Living an enlightened That's life right. is anything but boring. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. That's Save exactly yourself, what's going to happen. Surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. Just ask me to... Save your like... breath, Jedi. You're going to need it. Attack me and I will kill you. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. I love it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yikes. Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Storms. Your victory means nothing. Really appreciate it. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace. Knowing that the greater good has been served. Has it though? I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I broke it in it. <laughs> I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. Your failure is complete. How do you feel now? Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Norman Carr and his Padawan will still defeat you. They will fall just as you have fallen. <laughs> I face my end, knowing what is true. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. I will savor your destruction. There is no death. There is the Force. It didn't, it didn't even swig, it just went... Poke and it went right through. <laughs> From so, hip all the way to eyeball. She oh, just yeah. closed her eyes and accepted death. <coughs> hmm. When she closed her eyes, she had to kill it shut. No matter. Oh, yeah. The threat is ended. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I'm anxious to get off this planet. Oh, yeah. I'll say about they do. That's true. That is what they do. <laughs> Not very dramatic. Okay. Um, return to Lieutenant Malavi Quinn. Oh, that's right. I can mount on a beast. Look at this thing. Right. I said keep running um with Nashada the story quests on Nashada don't really hold a lot of weight only the story of the main character the main character story not the um the plot the story yeah, the planet story. Like, you never encounter anything to do with the planet story as you progress through the game anyway. It's more like a cool thing that it's brings place, you back to powers. Revan, that's all. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Go. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi investigator has been stopped. She is dead, Master. <laughs> that is a relief. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi, but our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. 
And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? Now, Lieutenant nice. Quinn is an exceptional officer. I couldn't have done it without him. Oh, High yeah. praise indeed. Quinn, I believe you have sufficiently repaid the debt owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. Nice. You are dismissed. Thank He's you. He's gonna be a captain. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. Oh, yes. Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. Yeah. Thank you for noticing, Quinn. <laughs> Until we meet again, I salute you, my lord. Okay, oh, he saluted me, and off he goes. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. I wonder why. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. If given the opportunity, he will excel. By the way, it's not worth worrying about. Quinn's affairs are a speck compared to what we face. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next the exercise in domination and destruction. Okay, here we go. Got more bits. <laughs> Thanks, Storms. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm gonna hit. Yeah, I'll be nice to I only dominate and destroy as a last resort. That's the lie. Yeah, it's the first resort. Right. You must have a short list of resorts then. It's very short. Well, I hope the next place <laughs> we end up has a beach. <laughs> it does not. So <laughs> I hope the next place we end up has a beach. Okay. <laughs> It really does. <laughs> it is. <laughs> because maybe a beach on the slot machine. Um, but <laughs> other than that, yeah. Okay. This way. This is the way. This is the way. Uh, we've done over here. Up and to the left. And then to the left again. Here we are. Up to the hangar. Yeah, this is the way. Why do I drop off this? I'm trying to run to get the ship as fast as possible. Yeah, let's just try to blitz through Nashada. I don't want to have to. Hang around too much. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Red's not with me. Hang on. Where's Queen gone? Oh, there he is. Do that again. My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. Begging does not become an officer. Here are Pardon my word choice, my lord. There we go. I will speak plainly. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. Okay. Share the same desire, Captain. I sense that as well, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honourable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. Oh, wow. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. What exactly can you do, Captain? Who cares what he can Captain do? Now. I could use some help around here. There are some things only you can do for me, Vet. Oh, my God. my lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You will find a tireless and loyal subject. I offer okay. my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. 
I would be pleased to have you, Quinn. The pleasure will be mine. Okay. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. He's going to come back as Captain Malachi Quinn, or is he still going to stay as Lieutenant, even though he got a rank as Captain? Let's see. I don't know, I really like that tune. Where are you anyway? You're on Nashadar already? Yeah, I'm just at the promenade doing some synth weaving and such. Oh, I'm sorry about you being on the promenade of Nashadar. Yeah. Did I say Nashita? Nashitty. Ventus, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. Good. The elimination of Commander Rygon grants security to my spy network, but there is still more to be done. To be done, hey? I'm primed for the next bloodbath. <laughs> I wait for anyone who gets in your way. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. Dark side points, and that sent me back to dark two. Did it? It did. Okay, good. I'm back at dark two. And we'll go to Shanada. Oh wait, Malavai. He must have a convo with me. Let's have a chat, Mr. Quinn. My lord, I have settled into my quarters and fully acquainted myself with the ship. I am at your disposal. I want you on a persistent state of alert, Captain. I won't disappoint, my lord. I am fully trained in all aspects of operating this vessel. I can navigate and pilot it to perfection. Yeah, get to your station then. Right away, my lord. Talk some more. Oh, he wants to keep talking. I'm going to do all the talkings to get the experience. You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I'm glad nice to hear it. Keep up the good work. I fully yes, intend to. You start to look very sickly now. If there are deficiencies you see, or suggestions you have about my operations and missions, I want you to speak up. I will make such things clearly known. You can count on me. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hurry up. Quinn. Permission to speak freely, my lord. All right. You may always speak freely, Quinn. I'll keep yeah. that in mind. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. Okay. I take it the moth took exception to that. Your intuition is flawless, <laughs> my lord. It's such Royce a piss took house. credit for the reversal, which is fine. Very worrying. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora or my career would have been over. Moth Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. I have no tolerance for fools like this moth. I could say more about him, my lord, but my point is made. I serve you now, I have no regrets. Okay. I'll return to my duties. Okay, that's as far as it goes. Now, off to Nashita. So, Melovar, you can captain the ship, and then I get behind the seat and start captaining the ship. Although I do outrank him, so I can do whatever I want. Apprentice, I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. It must be your kind of place, Barris. <laughs> My youth, perhaps. Nar Shaddaa the is a planet of, the galaxy. of and distraction. Gambling, spice, <laughs> rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task, but Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. 
Tell me his name so I know what to put on his epitaph. Agent Delicon's new benefactor is a young Sith Lord named Rathari, an upstart who openly disrespects my methods. Rathari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. This Rathari and I might have a lot in common. If he continues to cross me, he will soon be dead. I <laughs> doubt you want to have that in common. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. Sounds like my kind of fun. Haladrell yeah. Simpson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. Oh, I'm gonna go commit a murder. Here we are, everybody, the armpit of the galaxy. Presence increase the combatness of your companion character. So, the higher presence I have, the more effective my companion character is going to be in combat. All right, right on, right on, right on. Nasha does controlled by Tamasek. But why is Quinn with me? Do I want Quinn with me? I do not want Quinn with me. Heading out. I summon a, um, a Quinn again. Oh, this one here. Nope, nope. Lead the way. Damn it! I take my lead. Actually, Malavai is more agreeable with my comments. I don't have to please him as much. I'd hear a sound. But I'm not. Oh, no, leave. How do I. Heading out. Do you know how to change. Select like which companion to summon? Do you remember how to do that? It's the wrong. M. It's the M. Okay. M. M. K. And then you can select. Oh, boy, hang on. Companion. So which key? You said N for November? Ah, there it is. Point out vet, you're more effective than Malavai anyway. How's it going, my lord? How's it going, my lord? Oh boy. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Oh, work. Oh, my God. You know what disappointed me about this game when it first came out? Everything. No, I... No, <laughs> not everything. It was actually really good. But, like, I couldn't create an Ithorian Jedi. Or, um, or have them speak in Hatice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then the Athorian wouldn't have force push. Their voices are just massive. Yeah, I'm not going to pick up the Nashadar quest, planet quest. I don't think you need to do it either. We're already like one level too high for this planet. Or at least two. You get me? That didn't quite hear that. Probably because you're not eating your microphone. What does a um, <laughs> sorcerer need for? A uh, uh, physical rating or power? Um, ooh, power. Well done. All right. Please select an available travel route. All right. My first quest is in the Corellian sector. Is that what your quest is? I think so. At least I meet with Halidrell there. Let's see how direct I can be. I think it's annoying that being blunt as a Sith can lead to more dark side points. It makes me wonder if I um I may be a little on the dark side sometimes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. 
He's just a little bit of an asshole. Oh, but I sell some stuff. Hmm. Selling. Do that, medical droid. Do you require medical attention? Buy my shit. It's a lightsaber that is really garbage. Um, just, just garbage. So here's Red Packs when I have a vet. Oh yeah, you are in the Karelian sector, you're doing the crushing blow. Yes, or profit thing. Oh, I think isn't that's not that's not off of the profit where you you're the you're trying to become the profit, is that right? Meeting the profit. Meeting the profit. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Sweet talk me all day, darling. The exchange is moving in on this operation of yours. No amount of sugar gonna change that. Believe me, you're going to prefer the sugar to the spice. Take one step closer and there'll be two dozen Siths surrounding you. Two dozen? That's a dead giveaway, darling. You got none. These are your last breathing moments. You know what you say, Big Shot. Ha! We've been trained to handle Sith. Kinda glad we get to show off. Kill the Sith. Oh, kill the Sith, huh? Huh? Oh, that's just you and me now, prick. Dies as he dies. Horrible. Love it. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You probably could have. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prep for me, yes? What exactly did he tell you about me? Barris told me why you're here and how okay. I can help. He neglected to tell me how dashing you are. Focus on the tasks at hand, madam. Apologies, my lord. There you go. The Darth encourages me to use my feminine wiles. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rafari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. Better okay. be sure about that. You ruin his business. He's gonna want to chop you into little bitty pieces. First, Rathari's been strong arming the Hut Cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. I see. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Huts at Cartel headquarters. If you burst in. Oh, I've got to go to Karelian Sector again anyway. There you go. Must in. Definitely. I'd be facing a lot of firepower. <laughs> well, yeah. If you just went in there lightsaber blazing. The Cartel is an Imperial ally. Mathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between okay. you and the huts, better if there's no one left to identify you. There won't be a heart left beating. It could get hairy. Yeah. Those oversized slugs have some pretty buff bodyguards. When all this intrigue is over and Mathari is a memory, maybe we can get to know each other better. I already warned you, you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Force of habit, my lord. Won't happen again. Hey, Tweeleg. Is he always like this? No yep. comment. Guess that means I'll celebrate alone. I've got a shipment of we'll slaves to send alone. out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. She flirted with him twice. First time he said, don't flirt with me, I'm all about business. Second time he said, I've already warned you not to flirt with me, you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> But it made himself sound like he wasn't into the ladies. So that was an interesting conversation to be had, considering he's very into vet. Um, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm, quite. Yes, rather. Strokes the beard. Oh, the Corellian shelter. Yes, quite. You're, you're south of me, yes. I'm further north. Flying in. Wait, you got the crate den quest, that's right. I gotta do the um 
Hang on, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I'm not even in the Corellian sector anymore. Oh. My quest is going to disrupt the negotiations. I've got to go somewhere else. But I can help you with your quest while we're here. Yeah. Which one are you doing? Are you doing the um, the crate then? Which is the uh, with the crate dragons, I think. I'll trade the crate gang side. Yeah. yeah. That's your one. I'll help you with that. Then I'll bugger up to my quest. Or do you need me to help you with that? No, we can do that. Real quick. Pardon? We could just slam it out real quick. Yeah, we'll do that. Then I'm gonna just clear these guys. <laughs> Do you only ways down? Like extreme, yelling at these clowns. Nobody better mess with us now. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Me. I did. I will join you. I would assist with any murders required. <laughs> okay, well I can't get that one because that's an- oh no, wait, I can. I'm focusing this guy, don't worry. I've got him. Oh, throw down, huh? No, that's why this guy's called themselves after the crate dragons. Oh, you picked the one where you eliminate the rival gang. That's the one you picked, yeah. isn't it? it? Gives me 100 dark that point, so why not? Yeah, it also yeah it makes you... It changes your storyline to be more intimidating. If you chose the healing option, you become like this grand healer as a prophet. We did. I mean, I, ironically, the healing was what I was originally planning with this guy, but I figured we don't need the healing right now. Oh. Uh, it's a lie. Which just suits him better. Is his title showing up as the Sinister? The vicious at the moment. Oh really? Oh, which yeah, is fine. Which is perfectly fine. You're gonna kill this guy over here. You wanna, you wanna kill Saban, do you? Yeah, I mean, I, that's the job. Right, right, um, I got him. Now. He's dead. Completely and utterly obliterated them. <laughs> My lord, I wanted I wanted to apologize for Dustris earlier. He was out of line. At least one of you knows her place. <laughs> I have a great deal of respect for you. I just wanted you to know that. You you radiate a, a power that Caribbean's throat is ranting and demanding never did. I don't need to rant. My will is done the moment I think it. Don't forget to um sink her the color of her clothes with that mask. Yeah. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over the But I don't know. You don't you need to. You can just do sync colors in the, the outfitter tab. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destrus for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. The place is called the Stroll House. For a charity worker named Dagan Stroll, the people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. It's hardly a seat of power. Power is hard to come by in the lower levels of Marshall. Okay. So you know how to press, um, I guess C. Yeah. So go to Adfitter, I think, um... I think it is an outfitter. And then you just um, click on Unify Colors. colors. And more than one outfit. Called this one Evil Guy. It won't Unify. How come? 
It just won't let me select the actual helmet, the box won't take yeah, Will you click on all of them and then unify colours? I can unify some of them. But not the face mask? Apparently not. That's just weird. Oh well. I guess, whoa, look at your eyes. It's <laughs> sinister. Oh, yeah. them, what it them. Alright, uh, get out of here. We gotta get out of this place. You go hand in your quest and I'm gonna do with my hut bastard. Why did I just I get am. credits? That loot. Ah, right on, right on. Go back to the Aurelian Sector Speeder. Back. I may be lazy. We're skipping the planetary storyline, right? Something Definitely, yeah. Alright, I'm abandoning it. I've got to go to the Duro sector now. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Uh, it's promenade. I just realised how racist Nashada is. You have a different sector for different races. The Corellians are in one sector, the Duros are in another sector. Isn't that just Star Wars? In general, yeah. They explore that topic a fair bit. <laughs> just a bit. Oh, yeah. And their approach is extremely complicated to the story as well. Like, there are moments where I sympathize with the Jedi. So, sort of empathize with the Jedi, and it, which is odd because the Jedi aren't supposed to feel feelings. And there are moments where I empathize with the Sith in the whole universe, Star Wars universe. Yeah. Most of the time I'm like, man, these hit the crazy and looking like, but the Jedi Council made them that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some of them were like evil, like this, there's no way around it, but some were like, they became evil because the Jedi Council was like, oh no, we mustn't feel feelings. It was like, but I can't deny these feelings. What is wrong with you? <coughs> I don't know. The Old Republic was full of assholes. Actually, also the New Republic as well. The Jedi yes. refusing to act. Just Jedi. You can't be an effective leader if you're unfeeling as well. At least that's what I think. You need to have a bit of compassion and emotion. Yeah. God, I hate Nashida so much. Sometimes when I get to Nashida, I just feel so demotivated. That's why I try my best to skip the planet as fast as possible. Oh, that's the wrong way. Any other purple quests that you see in the area, just avoid them because they're continuations of the other quests. Yep. Okay. Running right past this Duro citizen. Do row citizen, do row citizen. Oh, I just got nailed. Oi. Nobody asked you to throw rockets at me. Don't know why you think you're okay to hit me like that, but you are dead. some hut negotiating while I'm here. This way. I can either negotiate with the huts or obliterate them, I think. Let's we'll see what happens. wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. 
Let me try cartel. It seems you have no other choice. I knew huts were spineless, but who knew they were gutless too? Hmm? I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Have you also anticipated your doom? Choose your master, Chitoria. Tell us your purpose, Dark One. Shut up, or I'll kill you and your men along with Rathari's toady. Janusa asubwe mota, wepad mota ipochakula. Stack the odds further against yourself by angering us. It's not very smart. I urge you to stand aside and watch me dispatch this pretender. nothing of yours. Yeah, let us see your superior. If you survive, we'll consider delaying our treaty with Rathari. Odds will you give me the intruder, Ban? Take all bets that he survives the day. You know what? I'm gonna wipe him out. What are the odds you had survive my attack? We are Mojo, Poker, and you'll and you'll earn our agreement. You cannot be reasoned with. Our bodyguards will cover you, Garrick. Together we will kill this braggart twice. Our alliance begins with the death of Barris's slave. Attack! Oh, he's got a yellow lightsaber. Oh, I just wiped him out with a single force push. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh. I just killed the... Okay. Apparently, I knocked out the guards and everybody else and killed the huts immediately. Right, here's, a look, here's a look. Okay. Impossible. Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Your master will be as dead as you soon enough. Killed him good. Alright, so everyone is dead, huts included. Nice, happy with that. That was a positive result. Murdered everyone. What are your thoughts on that? Success. Yes, many success. Good life of mine. Get blow stuff up. Oh, good, awesome. Well, uh, find out. Make make it the earthquake. Yep. You're in the right sector for it, I think. Sure. Am. Okay, I'm going to go to back to where I was before. I think it was a Carillion sector again. Anti-Empire organizing, sorry. Oh, well, dead. Go this way. I think when the hut started placing... I was gonna, you know, kill Rathari only. When the hut started placing bets on me, I decided maybe I should kill them all. Bets. How dare you relegate me to childish games? Word spread through the streets. Oh, funny how you can uh, execute the citizens, but uh, the refugees. No one knows who slaughtered the oh, well. <laughs> So I'm very impressed. The Empire's alliance is intact. It's too bad Rathari wasn't in attendance. But man, I bet he's fuming. Okay. Disappointed in her. Guess proved to be unreliable. I'm sorry about that. Still, I'm sure the message was heard. Rathari is also on the verge of taking over the Republic's base of operations in the upper industrial sites. With his work with the cartel dashed, he's sure to pour himself into squashing the Republic garrison. If he's not there, you will have failed me twice. 
Even if Rathari isn't there, when his operations are all thwarted, I know he'll come to you. A confrontation will be inevitable. I think, he's, I think she's sloppy. I think she's making assumptions about Rathari. Personal conquest increase. the next spot I run back to the speed like a goddamn barbarian using my legs what a joke please use all products only as intended so we're junk don't need that no more is a blaster rifle. I need a health pack as I'm healing. And, and like, do you know, I need to uh, go to Republic Outpost uh, Shylock. In our shade of space pools. Oh, nah, shaddy. Nah, shit up. Yeah, I'm getting woozy in that stream sick. Looks through this horrible, horrible planet. I just realized what Nashida reminds me of. A toilet bowl. If the fifth element was designed by a toilet bowl. Oh, Remember? yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Multipass. Multipass? What we need now is a, a, a blue Twi'lek to sing opera. I mean, you got a vet. You're halfway there. Yeah, well, she's green though. I made her green. I'll just take off her die. No, <laughs> take off her. Oh boy, almost something very controversial. Then I'm gonna <laughs> leave that Elo's alone. Skin off. I was gonna <laughs> leave that alone. If I was gonna get worse, I'd be like change your race. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. The fact that you can change your companion's skill skin color with some dye. <laughs> <laughs> Really not good when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not really, no. Oh, Be right man. back. All right, all good. <laughs> I did tone down what I was gonna say, just a little bit. Okay, running through. I passed those monsters. It didn't seem to notice me because I was running right past. The Republic here, post shine on. Run it. Keep running, run in. Oh, better than the whole one. Jedi do to what's her name? Nagi or whatever. Ooh. What do you mean? Oh, uh, I think I know you're talking about. What do they do? Do they dress her up like um, Princess Leia, just have her running around, but nearly naked? But run, run! I can't remember what they do with which one is. I think Nadia. Nadia might be. Oh my god! Hang on. Let me just commit some violent murders. Hang on. I'm gonna war crime. Listen, assholes. Yeah, yeah. It will make her very tardy. Yeah. It's die in amazing ways. Okay, we're well, across here. Here you are. 
And he spawns. Man. Hey guys. Hey, how you doing? You're just in the entrance of Yozan, yeah. Pardon? You're just in the entrance of Yozan, yeah. Yeah. I'm inside mine now. Nice. I'll probably jump into yours before I do mine. You're embroiled in yours? I'll jump into yours before I do mine. Oh, I gotcha. It's just right next to each other. Yeah. Is it? Pretty much. Oh yeah, it is. It's right around the corner. Hello. Hello. I'm waiting for you, mate. <laughs> Wing. Yeah. You know, admittedly, I'm um, just thinking about voices and voice acting. Uh, out of the blue, it wasn't. We didn't have a conversation that led to that, but thinking about what's happening with the whole Rick and Morty scenario, right? And as much as I'm going to find it weird that they're going to have different voices and they're going to do some sort of meta thing where they explain why. Their voices are different. I'm curious to see how they pull that off. And if it's, like, you know what I mean? Like, if it's good... It could yeah. just be an impressionist that is really good at doing the Rick and Morty voice. So I heard that the studio was different. trying to avoid doing that because they didn't want um, Justin's legacy in it. Ah, valid. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, okay. I'm gonna see it. <laughs> it's like, it's gonna be weird. So you now. I don't know how you'd do it. You know what? If, they had, if it was Christopher Lloyd and um, Michael J. Fox, Michael J. Fox, I'd be, oh. be so happy with that. Oh, hang on. What are we doing here? There's somebody I got to speak to. Uh, this way. The General Kling Clinton. Kind of, I should say, I'm too. General Clickton. Men, fall back. Rally here. My lord. Okay. What is the meaning of this? We are on the verge of striking a major blow to the Republic. I am General Clickton, commanding on the authority of Sith Lord Rathari, appointed to Nar Shaddaa by the Dark Council. Why do you attack the Empire's men? Where is your master hiding? He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. There we go. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. Uh -huh. Let me save you the trouble. <laughs> Full attack! <laughs> You're dead, you down. Right, right on. Oh, you dead. Alright. There you go. There you go. You can die too. Okay, now I have a plan. I have a very sinister plan. What happened to the Republic soldiers up there? Oh no, they hit. They saw us fighting. I think they stopped. Watch this. Yeah, That's all right, Republic soldier. Let's have a conversation. Sir, the Sith strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Making <laughs> an animated Batman. Yeah, exactly. Sith. That's true, yeah. I am Commander Nolan. I'm in charge of this defensive. I'm unarmed. I'm unwise. Um, I think I have an idea. It's going to cause light side points. I'm not going to do it. Let's see what happens. Let's have a chat with him. I doubt that a blaster would save me. We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? Oh, man. You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. Oh, yeah, me too. I've been very sorry. They're going to get obliterated online. Public business. interests. I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. Definitely. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until it's, we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. It's going to be hard to find someone as iconic as Kevin Conroy, you know? But the voice of Batman. Okay, here we go. My lord, my face! My face is under attack! Oh, the last of my men and I are caught up in the command center. But the doors are about to give! Get a grip on yourself. Easy for you to say. You can't see the walls buckling. Ah! The 
command center has been breached. I've never seen such power. Oh no. So, I guess I'm rushing back to that person. Um, should I rush back? Up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna rush back. I'm trying to get out of this quest as quickly as possible. Um, back to, because she's in the Corellian sector anyway, so it's a bit of a trek. Uh, did you just engage in combat with somebody while I was trying to... <laughs> 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 what, have you, what have you done? <laughs> I gotta finish this guy now just so I can freaking fast travel. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm just about to fast travel and then... Pulls out his lightsaber mid fast travel request. Yeah, come on, don't do it, don't do it, don't find anybody, don't find anybody. Oh, thank god. <laughs> so tempted. I was expecting you to engage in combat. She, I reckon she's gonna be dead when I get there. Now to do my quest line, yeah. Yeah, of course. That's a good idea. I think you're almost done yours as well. You're, the rally, uh... you're about to set off the earthquake, right? Yep. Yeah, you're almost done yours. I make the big boom. Oh. Imperial soldiers in here. Okay, I guess they're waiting for me. Oh, I just got force choke. Ooh, harder. <laughs> if you, you do force choke and the enemy yells out harder, daddy. Like, um. Force. stab? Dead. Now we've got to investigate the corpse of Haladrel Setson. There's a hollow thing. Yes, it was. It's clear Darth Maris failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. Mm. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. Ah, oh, okay. That's you want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. You show. He's a moron if he thinks we're gonna walk into such an obvious ambush. Right? Commander Norlan and his men owe me their lives. Hail him. I want to collect. Oh, oh that's good. I get to play secretary. Here you go. I had a feeling, Corsair. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. I'm about to give you the opportunity for glory few have seen. The destruction of a Sith Lord. That's unexpected. You've definitely piqued my interest. The soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done. And how does this look anyway? Oh, that is an ugly chess piece. I am. Yeah, and it's also weird than what I'm wearing anyway. I think because we did a whole bunch of stuff in places and things. Wow, that was very clear and articulate. What I meant to say was because we did all those heroic quests earlier. We're prepared. Uh, <laughs> prepared. Be prepared. What a voice. Yeah, okay, I think I'm almost done my quests. You kill a Sith Lord. Yes. Nikto and Karelian sectors. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Going to the network access have to Have a safe and pleasant stay. What if I wanted to have an unsafe and unpleasant stay? You can't tell me what to do. I'm in the dolls to the ground. I ain't part of the system.
song is actually pretty fitting for a Jack, <laughs> Jack Boot of the M. It is. <laughs> it is very fitting. <laughs> to the ground. is there. So mine is here. Darn. Oh, my new guitar. You know what I've got at the moment? You know what they call it? A harmonica. Okay. I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> 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 What I want to do is I've got the I got the itch for a new guitar, right? And yeah. there's a formula for that. Okay, so if X equals the amount of guitars you currently have, then the optimum number of guitars is equal to X plus one. Ah, uh, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Which means, hey, I've got two guitars. Hang on, what's the formula? Oh, can I have two guitars? Better add another one. All right, back to the formula. What's what are we, what are we doing here? Same with games. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. That's exactly right. So the difference is, the guitar <laughs> is a little bit more expensive. <laughs> Just a touch. Yes. Oh, hang on. Oh, you want to throw down? You're good to go. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? I'm going to strangle you. She dead. And she gave me some money. Okay. Comes this combat section. I get to do 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 do. Oh, I thought I'm just gonna do the parries. Men. Let's have a quiet conversation with Lord Rathari and Agent Asshole. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece. And do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? Come, speak with Barris. Perhaps he'll listen to reason. <laughs> do you think I'm stupid? Not a chance. Delacon and everything he knows of your master's operations are mine now. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barriss's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. 
A Sith Lord should be a man of his word. So naive. Lies and deception are important weapons in every Sith's arsenal. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. Your men are going to be a little busy with my men. That's the signal, men! Let's go! Here we go. I see now. I've underestimated your resourcefulness. Men, make quick work of these Republic fools. Attack! You got a purple lightsaber? Alright, okay, well, here we go. Dead. I'm not, not done checking you yet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you think you're gonna beat me? Uh, yes again. Ow. So a chat, Lord Mithari. Yield. Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. Wow. Is he going to be the threat my lackey? to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. I was looking forward to doing that myself. Make friends with you. are above such trifling tasks. Let others like myself do such deeds for you. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barriss's interesting, enemy. Interesting, interesting. Grant me mercy. That's true. So I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. Chrysalis believes that a live Sith is always a threat. I could have him be my servant. So yeah, that's true. He dies. Death is the only honor you've earned. Then make it swift. And he goes. He was being so dishonorable earlier on anyway. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you, me, and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You suppose he'd have betrayed you, my lord? No. God, this is... You know, this behavior goes against everything in my... in part of my being? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your men can go, but your days are over. What are you Republic oh. fools standing around for? It's easier to be evil. You heard my master. Good. Get out of here. Men, the commander would want us to persevere. Let's move out. Glad this is go. finally over. Maybe we can go back to the ship and get off this rock, huh? Lord Barris will be expecting an update. Well, say hi to him for me. Yeah. I just can't wait to get back to my quarters and grab some shut eye. Okay, there we go. Got to use my ship's hollow terminal. Anyway, how are you going with your quests? Apparently, uh, I'm with you right now. Oh. Somebody's not over here. Oh. oh, there you are. How the hell did I end up here? I just went through a door for my quest. Now I'm in here. What? I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Let's get out of here, come on. I think the exits will be here for your quest. There you are. Your quest is actually south. Yeah, right. Hold on, let me just this friggin' you know what, what am I doing? Strangle your ass. There you are, you're dead. Ah, that's right, I that's right. Uh, the chopper! Hey Silver! Oh, oh. oh yeah, you're over here. Yo, 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 Silver, what's the 411? 
And a 142. Yeah, I'm going to get involved in some quantum combat. I'm going to watch you complete your quest over here. See if you do anything sinister as a Sith. Or behave like a Sith like Jedi. Yes. Alright, I, I, I lost the accent towards the end of that. Oh, balls. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I almost <laughs> There I go. Oh my goodness. The games have been very good. Yeah, I almost um died too. Did you just die? Yep, I fell all the way down. And apparently the area start point isn't the start of the door. Uh where is it? It's all the way at the uh the taxi. You're kidding. So, uh... I'm, I'm in your quest. Yep. But to watch you engage with Lord Palladius the Vines. Yep, that's the one. Let's see. I'm about to go slap his high knee, but first I gotta just, uh, do the cheeky death run. Cheeky what? Cheeky death run, you know, run back to the corpse. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Death run. I thought it was called a corpse run. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corpse run, death run. One is more Latin than the other. The walk of shame. <laughs> it's the walk of shame. That's the one. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. You come back and you're holding your shoes in your hand and your, your dress is slightly out a little bit. Your mascara is running down your face. Pants are inside out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and we're all sitting there like, dude, you just died. Did you sleep with death? I don't understand. Like, what happened to that? You come back, you're like, I bribed the ferryman with my body. <laughs> Sith, yeah. Destron Rachel. I'm it gets so their names wrong all the time. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? Don't mind Varnock and Shaw. Thanks for death, that's a rule. They never yes. leave my side. <laughs> you know exactly what you can offer me. I've had to wreck cheese. And bitchy so too. confident, so amazingly confident. But I dare say you've gravely underestimated me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut. That's right. Is your essence draining rather rapidly? He's got Darth Nihilus's that power. That sinking feeling. Your connection to the Force being severed. Soon, you will be no more powerful than little. Denton here, or Ramona. For that, you will suffer. Oh boy. <laughs> Not so powerful anymore, are we? Oh, don't hit it back up. Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. In yeah, yeah, all right, and then force lightning. Strangle for you. There we go. He's he dead. What? What? How? How is this possible? You're stronger than any I've faced. Had help, but oh, forgive me, my sh my lord. <laughs> Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're you're very trusting, Destris. But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? What you gonna do? Killing you will be such fun. Oh, hey. Murder. Oh, yeah. Well, that was every bit as satisfying as I expected. We're in your debt, Riley and me. Only, the thing is, everyone in the cult looks up to you now. 
You will run this cult to my exact specifications. Don't worry about it. I think it you is Soldier 76's us. voice. I guess so. I should go rally the cultists before they lose their fervor. Thanks again. Yes. Very weird his voice sounded familiar. Still be hiding in that hole yeah. if for you. It is Soldier 76 from um, Overwatch. Alright, well, you did your thing. Let's spell the, let's spell the uh, various um, tasks. Oh, um, I can go back to my ship now. Yeah. Where was it, our ships? What sector was it? It wasn't the promenade, was it? It was. Um, There's Zenti Spaceport. Zenti Spaceport. Yeah. It's oh, found it. Yeah. Alright, you be safe, Silver. Enjoy. Hey, how you going, Haley? Okay. So now we need to go... Wait, back to the spaceport to get this uh, job and this task finished. Oh, that's right, I forgot I have to fucking mount. Run. Is this that it, the, the interior setting it makes you think you can't? Yeah, I know, because I'm so used to playing games where I, I actually um, have to friggin' You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, it's a bounty hunter, Sith warrior. There we go. I'm doing fine, Haley. Having a nice, relaxing Friday evening while I stray. Go through here. Okay. How's the other um? How's the other artwork coming along? Is it going good? Way, and I'll jump on in and grab that. Off we go. Bring on murdering people. Yeah, City of Dreams. Great song. But I'm committing like violent acts of Sithy murder on this planet. <laughs> like le legit, it's my one of my favorite things to do is to cut people down. While listening to positive and uplifting music in this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll grab this. You have done well, my apprentice. Delicon eliminated and Lord Rathari dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. Yeah. The loss of Halidron Sitson is unfortunate, but the end is far justified in the means. Oh. She will be easily replaced. That's right. Yes, I will place my slave operations in good hands, rest assured. Dang. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. The time has come to set our sights on Noman Carr and his gifted Padawan. That's right. New it planets. Seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Noman Carr has been busy. I bet. Stop being so cryptic and tell me what's happened. Use that tone sparingly with me, apprentice. <laughs> Consider this a warning. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. It seems likely. I've sent the yeah. coordinates to your main train. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. Dock with the space station for my next part of my quest. I think you get a mask after you finish Nashada, if I remember correctly. I mean, because you are technically the descendant of um, Lord Kalig. Yeah, what was his name? Aloysius Kalig was his full name. You can look up the law for him if you want to later on. Let's have a chat with Malachi Quinn first. My lord, I have been working on something in my spare time. What's he been working you on? You may be interested. Go ahead, Here's... regale me. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Ronnie. Mm. When Moff Royce recalled me for the Battle of Druckenwell, I had the spy cornered. I briefed Royce so that he could send someone else to take Volerin out. He ignored the opportunity. This sounds like a personal vendetta. It is. 
Knowing how close I was to ending his career made languishing on Balmora all the more frustrating. But I take this on only for the good of the Empire. This spy has caused immeasurable losses. I know Voloran's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. It is imperative that you track him down. Very good, my lord. I'll keep you abreast of my progress. Travel to Korriban. You're going back to Korriban? Oh, that's right. Because of your, um, yeah. I know why you're going back to Korriban. Well, yeah, that, if, if it is what I think it is, the mask you get from that is actually really cool. Yeah, well, it looks cool at least, better than what you got on now. And with the lore it's behind it, you'll want to hang on to it for ages. I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? When you are close to people, they become family. Sometimes, whether you want them to or not. Cute. I'm going to take that as a compliment. When I was working for Nocturne, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. Okay. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. Having someone your own age could be great or terrible, depending. <laughs> it was great. Always great. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister Stays. again. For years it was Risha and me against Excuse the galaxy me. and anyone who gave us grief. Did you drift apart? Start to fight? Nothing like that. Excuse Eventually... Her. Now I catched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. But for a while there, I really was happy. Enough of that. She got all emotional. Hot arm. Pass that. And up this way. Shadow of Ash, nice try. So now we're going to go to the orbital monitoring station, which is the threat detected. Go. Out I go. Here's the exit. Alright, I'm gonna have a friendly chat with our friends at this orbital station. You're doing your Korriban one, I'm doing my other one. Are you a Korriban as well? No, a different planet. The story diverged for a second. It's like an uh, intermission planet. Or an intermission quest. For you out of the other people, explanants. Oh. We've got the engineering deck and locate the security chief, it would seem. A single one of them did any bit of meaningful damage to me. Is that it? Is that where I have to go to the control room door? Okay. Oh, here we go. Shoot at me. Shoot at me. <laughs> I feel like a kid. Conversation here, security chief. Uh. Yeah, security chief. 
recover himself. Okay. Is that too much this counts on taunt? It's really like taunting. Okay, so now I've gotten that loot. Now I've got to go to. I'm guessing this way. I'm not sort of a guess. First of all, you guys, chin. There's a lot of people I gotta kill. Boy, I sure wish I could stealth. <laughs> 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 the security droid. Uh -huh. Now that he's dead, he's more like an insecurity droid. <laughs> Just means there's no, um, no one left to testify. Fair. That's a good point, actually. Stealth can be kill everybody in the room because once again. This is his point. No one's there to testify. Now let's get the fuck out of here. The communications deck. Let's see what the what the lowdown is. Oh, that was dumb. It's frozen in carbonite now. Die, guard of security. Wait. Yeah. Give everyone a serious brain trauma. Yep, definitely. Yes, hundred percent. It's either gonna be kill everybody or brain trauma so freaking heavy that no one can justify who it was. Everybody be sitting there like, was it Batman? I don't know, but there was a big bat and. Hey, how you doing? Like that's <laughs> it's so distracted. Don't take all the love that you give. Oh, this is the way. Right. Watching of the oh, Good lord. Dead. Stab up. Oh, here we go. What seems to be the trouble, Hiroshi? Tell me why you're so concerned. Master Carr, you promised we would be undetected, but the ship we've been tracking for you is here. Calm your fear, Hiroshi. It will not serve you. I will speak with your visitor when the time comes. The fear I inspire cannot be suppressed, Jedi. Ah, uh, okay. You never told me we'd be tracking a Sith. You were provided the details necessary to perform your duties. Now please, remain quiet. Sith, I presume you are Dark Barris's new apprentice. I am Jedi Master Norman Carr. Do you know me? You are my master's sworn enemy. Barris and I like to keep tabs on each other, so when I heard of a new apprentice, I investigated. These men were merely right. monitoring the equipment, following orders. There's no need for bloodshed here. I feel an overwhelming need for bloodshed. Hiroshi, defend yourself. The Sith attacks. Excessive display. Those men were defenseless and unarmed. Their deaths are on your head, Carr. Such a sad attempt to deflect responsibility, Sith. I shall honor Hiroshi and his men's lives by dedicating myself to thwarting you and your master. You will fail, and they will have died for nothing. Your confidence is unfounded. 
Soon you will realize that. It calms me that you and Barris have no idea what you're up against. Your pupil's powers are a sham. She is leading you on a witch hunt. Yep, that's right, Nicholas. <laughs> more than I thought. Barris, no doubt, is after my Padawan. How unfortunate. I kept her identity and location a secret. So you and your master are just feeling your way in the dark. But my Padawan is of supreme importance to me in the Jedi Order. Oh, I will not let harm come to her. I would expect nothing less. In that case, I shall exceed your expectations, my friend. You friend? To find your friend, buddy? Resourceful I can be. These troopers are among the Republic's finest. Surrender, and the Jedi Council will be lenient. You're digging your own grave. You leave me no choice. Men, take the Sith in by any means necessary. Any means necessary, huh? Once again, done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take you out. There you go. You're gonna cop that. <laughs> and as for you. Oh, you think that was gonna work? I'm sick. You're very strong, this guy, this guardian. But I'm also strong. Or I am a juggernaut, bitch. Okay, grab that. Uh, use the hollow terminal controls. Back to having a chat with Naman Car again, I guess. It seems Dark Barris has found himself a singularly vicious weapon in you. <laughs> This experience has given me valuable insight. I'll be prepared for you next time, Sith. I was holding back. I fought them with one eye closed. <laughs> you cannot get under my skin with your antics. My place <laughs> is by my one side, teaching her the ways of the Force and honing her talents. I will do everything in my power to keep her hidden from you. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Talking to a dead man <laughs> until we meet again. Under his skin, that's for sure. I gotta use my ship's hollow terminal now. What is this? If I use that again, or nope? Back to the ship's hollow terminal. You were already out. Nah, I'll leave him alone. I've already killed as many people as I could. I made my point clear. Made it very clear. Engineering dick. How'd you go on your quest? Bad. I go to Tatooine, Tatooine or Alderaan now. Oh, well, that's where I'm going to be headed to. Look at things. Which place are you going to? Um, which one is first on the list? Oh, you go to the lowest level one first. Yeah. Oh, if I remember correctly, it was um, Tatooine, then Alderaan. Let me go to my ship and make that confirmation you first. Be correct. Ah, I was? Haha! <laughs> Memory served me well this time. Killed a whole bunch of people in an orbital station. Okay. Using the terminal of hollows. Apprentice, now that Norman Carl realizes that we seek his Padawan, there's no time to waste. He claimed the girl on a planet of Alderaan, and she trained on Tatooine. I have agents on both planets digging up leads. Find the people who know this girl. Someone means enough to her to make her come out of hiding. I doubt that Jedi will let her out of his sight. You may be right, but as you close in on his prized pupil, he will be forced to deal with us. I am confident this is how we will prevail. The Padawan's training is incomplete. She is susceptible. The anguish you cause will flush her out 
and you will kill her and her master. Perhaps the Padawan can be turned. Her power would be a great asset, yes. Put through enough torment, she may reveal her base nature. But we must be cautious. The danger she represents is extreme. As long as she lives, she is a threat. Very true. Seduction to the dark side should be left to masters. If there is even a sliver of doubt in your heart, it can backfire. I don't appreciate your condescension. Don't be so bruisable a practice. It's the mark of insecurity. You have yet to face a Jedi Master. The righteousness and passionless demeanor is nauseating. Righteousness and passionless. is no ordinary master. Confronting you, you will find profound fortitude and hate. Or you will falter. It will be an interesting experience. Be sure your results are of interest to me. Be off then. Tatooine and Alderaan await. Discover this Padawan's identity and destroy her. Interesting. I think I know where my redemption arc may start. We'll see what happens. What is it, Tatooine? Pardon? When you punch Darth Bazaar in his sir. And I punched Darth Barris in his uh, what? In his sack. Oh, and his in the testicles. In the testicles, yes, of course. Now, I think it might start a little bit earlier than that, but it'd be sort of like um, some sort of influence. If you get what I mean? Nice. So like, I'm going to see something that happens at some point, and I'm going to start moving to light side options from there. But until then, I'm going to be an ass. Our interrogation of the Republic agent here on Dormant Cast. So you're doing it for the simple event. He's remember, remember, my Jedi, sorry, my Sith, ooh, ago, oh, is sipping for vet. So we're going to keep that in mind. They refused, and Young Lark went into hiding on Tatooine. Well, no, he's, he's aiming for vet, but I'm gonna have to have some sort of influence. So I think I might have to get um, the new um, the apprentice involved, the Jedi Padawan. I'll be back in a moment. Gotcha. You unlock one into Hardy and Tatooine. So you want me? to... No, wait! I could start the redemption arc from here. See what happens. You'll see what I want to do. What should I do with him once I track him down? Mm. Your lock is the one who brought the Padawan's powers into expression. Now they share a special bond. Find him and destroy him. You would start. Where do you suggest I begin? My servant Shara Biv will guide you. She's eccentric, an acquired taste. But give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm making no promises. <laughs> I will often indulge your whims, apprentice, as long as you deliver results. But in this case, so closely to my commands. Yep, you the better one involved. I got weird. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking, right? So in this storyline, you encounter um, a Jedi who's supposed to be... Hang on, let me see what level this planet is. Because even the Tatooine planet storyline is garbage. And <laughs> it doesn't link to anything important. Have a look. On level 27. Tatooine is 24 to 28. So we could technically run through the main story on Tatooine. And then on older one we can do the planet story and the, the other story we can get our levels back up. Does that make sense? What are your thoughts on that? I agree. Yeah, because... Where, where I'm... I mean, I'm level 20... Uh, 34. Yeah. In level 29 area. Yeah, I see what you mean. Alright, we'll just skip... Play, play out through the story in this area for both of us. And then all the run will level up and do the side quests. Yep, I'll be back in a moment just making a quick sandwich. So all good. I'm really hungry tonight. Um, you know, I, I'm feeling you. I'm in the same boat right now. Once a combat ends, 
Okay. City had an eccentric apprentice. There she is. Sharak Bree. The harsh sands of Tatooine welcome you. I am Sharak Reeve. Our Lord and Master Darth Barris bid me to impart my Very knowledge. Very eccentric. Of his planet, and help you track down the Jedi Master Yanlock. Barris is only my master in name. I did not mean to offend, my lord. You and you alone will be my master during this time. Complete subservience is the only way you will survive the experience. Here you go. Then I will launch myself into the task at hand immediately. You will find Master Yanlok by tracing the path the Padawan and her master took. I can tell you where they started. I followed them to the forbidden lair of the ancient sand demon, a terrible beast. The Padawan left her weapons and entered alone. Impossibly, she returned unscathed. She brought the Force. It is a powerful weapon. I have witnessed the power of the Force, but this goes beyond wonder. The Sand Demon is the fiercest creature on this planet. You don't just walk into its lair and return without a scratch. I investigated further. The beast was there, also undamaged. And what's most perplexing, its skin was glistening. Somehow, she avoided fighting the demon. That appears to be the only conclusion. What happened in that cave is a mystery. As is where the Padawan and her master went afterwards. There is one man on Tatooine who might be able to explain. He's a bow chief. He's as old as the sand. Part madman, part soothsayer. I want to talk with this man immediately. It will not be easy to speak with Chief. The small farming settlement where he lives has been overrun by exchange thugs. The exchange hates the Empire for running them out of Mos Eisley. They will allow me to pass, but they'll attack you on sight. They won't see me coming until it's too late. Then I will meet you at Isabeau Chief's hut. His name is Isabeau Chief. Mate, if I was named Isabeau Chief, I'd walk in front of a moving bus. Is a boogie. It's too close to Ichabod Crane. Um, I think. It's like when when you when you hire Ich. <laughs> when you buy the headless horseman from from Wish. Oh dear. Yeah, you are like mad high for this planet. I mean, mad high level for this planet. Bro. A little bit. <laughs> okay. I'm not doing this planet story arc. So I actually have to go out into the fields. I think you're gonna meet me up that way anyway. Taking the speeder to the other spot, but you know, yeah. Oh no, wait, there's only one speeder. Like, how far away is the speeder from the spaceport in this freaking planet? Way too far. The weapons and armors that we have now from all the other planets we went to. It's too high for this planet anyway, so we and all the side bits that you get from the story arc for your weapons and armor are um, not strong enough for what we're carrying right now. They're not a, they're not a reasonable substitute. Okay, keep running with your giant cat beast. Oh, I think he's in one of these huts. Oh, 
us these womp rats. Womp. Persons in here. The world is weeping, and the tears evaporate in the heat of our sin. I think you mean from the heat of our suns, Isabel. No, child. There is a dark presence newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, uh, Sith, you made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. Sorry if I dragged blood in on your floor. <laughs> the world is an hourglass, ever being turned. The sands wipe away all traces of the past. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the sand demon. I came for the scintillating conversation. When the suns are bright, everything scintillates on Tatooine. Oh my god. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. The signs speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. Explain this ritual. The Demon's Blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh sand demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the Demon Slayer, the Savage Ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. According to Shark, the Padawan did not slay the beast. There must be another way to bathe in the beast's blood, but you'll have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, You'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then hey. see if the Savage Ones speak. It's not much to go on, but it will do. That is everything I have. This is where it all happens. This is where it all changes. Then, perhaps, nothing is everything. Here are the coordinates you will need. After you face the Sand Demon, I will meet you at the Sand People compound. If the legend is true, and the Sand People have something to offer you, I wish to see it with my own eyes. Touch with sand people, huh? Actually, no. That's that's not how they sound. Like you want to hear how they sound? You ready for it? That's that's. Is that the noise that they make? Does it sound correct, or is I wrong? Oh, no, no, that's definitely correct. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm just way too calm. <laughs> You're just too calm. <laughs> You're sitting there whimpering like a puppy because <laughs> you don't want to wake the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. <laughs> okay, um, what time is it now? Hmm. I think this is gonna have to be it for now for me. Where's the next spot I gotta be at? Um, the pirate girl. Oh, that's your one down there. That's my one, yeah. Okay. Moss Ela speed up means I gotta fly somewhere. Let's fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Um, okay, that's further north. Okay, um, let me try and fly there first. Okay, then I'll wait there, I think.
the mail. An unread mail message. You've got mail. You got mail. Uh, is this a mailbox? No. Might be a female. Ah, here we go. Here's the mailbox. Um, Darth Barrett's Remnants of Wrathy. You served me well, apprentice. Lord Rathari's dying screams have sent shockwaves throughout the Sith Order. The Death Herald's my mounting influence. I have seized Rathari's holdings, discovered the power base, and reduced his legacy to a forgotten nightmare. <laughs> Only one scrap remains. That's a gift to the companion. In close, you'll find the last of Rathari's possessions. Prize for skewering the full Sith. You have earned it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm. Yeah. Barris makes you not want to be evil. That's the problem <laughs> that I'm finding with him. Go, okay. companion. Hey, thanks. All right, improve some influence with Vet. Good, good body every morning to you too, Ca Camo. How are you going? Uh, I need to fly this to another spot. Service, my lord. Um, where does he want me to go? So this is outpost Barath. That's where we're going. To the Barath, I think. Which is north of here. You know what they say. The only way is up. Baby. Yeah, that's it. I'll keep going just a little bit longer then. There we go. Track is awesome. Okay. Quest up here too, it would seem. Oh no, that's my quest. Never mind. Yep. I'm not on Starforge. No, I'm on Satil Shan. But I am on, in Australia, and that seems to be the the place to be for people in in the Pacific, I suppose. Mm. There's not many other places. No. Yeah, but I think because there were Australians there was before, and a lot of them were merged to Satil Shan because the numbers in Australia to hold the service to justify them being up was diminished and dwindled. To a point where they could no longer justify how holding those servers here. As to my understanding, of course. And I can't imagine I can't understand why. This is such a good game. Okay, um just from here. And yeah, here we go. The Sand Demon Cave. So I think from this point on. It's gonna begin his redemption arc, I reckon. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Redeemable asshole. Oh yeah, you can you can you can be redeemed. So you're gonna name him Pepto Bismol. Pardon? You're gonna name him Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol, yep. His name is gonna be Pepto. Taking from esoteric to Pepto Bismol. Yeah. <laughs> that is. It's more so. Um, the storyline kind of leans heavily on this being a planet where the Jedi purify themselves. Mm. Yeah. What professions are they nerfing, Captain? Oh, these sand people are everywhere. I can see why Anakin turned to the dark side. This is just... This planet. <laughs> I can see why he hates sand. Yeah, it gets everywhere. Um, <laughs> I think I'm in the wrong spot. Don't wait, I'm going around this way. Just hide away from these venomous real, real, real. But if you pronounce it the Spanish way, because it's too well, they're pronounced re. Okay. Take that, you agitated raid. What are you agitated for? Stop it. Stop the agitation. But you know what? I'm going to choke the life out of you. There you go. I thought he turned evil because he just wasn't good with kids. 
Well, did the first time he turned evil. Like, before he went and slaughtered all of the, um... The sand people, right? When his mother had passed away. What does he say to, um, Amidala? I hate the sand. So imagine, right? You're, 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 you're on Tatooine because your mother was sold. Uh, it's because abilities and hybrid abilities. Now they're just hybrid abilities. Ah, right. I get you. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, it's going to be interesting, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so he's like saying that he hates the sand as it gets everywhere. It goes to track down his mum. Finds that um, Zebulba sold his um, mum to another slaver. Um, she gets taken by the sand people. So now it's hot in a desert. He's surrounded by the very thing that he hates, the sand. And now he's dealing with the people who um, are named after the very thing that he hates. And now his mum's dead. So yeah, I think that was the, his first actual real turn to the dark side. Oh, hang on. Because he's lost his mumsy, isn't it? That's right. Okay. Sand demon in the far corner of the cabinet. Okay, we go. So what are we gonna do? <clears throat> Can we talk for a second? I really don't have a good feeling about this. I need you focused here, Vet. Sorry, I just okay. have an irrational aversion to attacking monsters that can swallow me whole. I'm thinking if the Jedi perform the demon blood ritual without a fight, there must be a way we can too. As a favor to me, could we please get through this without mixing it up with the sand demon? I was already planning on doing that. Oh, good. Starts That's being redeemed early. from this point on. It's like it's showtime. The monsters caught a whiff of us. I'm ready to back you up if it goes badly. Okay. Interesting. Really incest at your intrusion. Hmm. Stand stoically. I stand my ground. I will not run. It's confusion. The sand demon hesitates. Why does that guy look like Jin? <laughs> I was just mucking around with their hairstyles, really. It's what I wanted to do. Alright, um, raise fist, put hand out to be sniffed, stare the demon down. Look into my eyes, beast. Here we go. It's the haircut, isn't it? The double mohawk? I'm gonna close eyes and meditate. No, no, hang on. Do I pet it? No, no, I'm gonna meditate. We are one at peace. I lulled it to sleep, but I'm not going to kill a defenseless beast. The beast sleeps. Now, let us see what transpires. This is where it starts. Ugh. I'm guessing it smells like bloated assholes. Sleep and shed its skin. It's oozing blood and nastiness all over the place. And the smell. Oh, Kag, we're going to stink for days. What if it never wears off? <laughs> We'll be all right, Vet. I sure hope you're right. Right, because this character's going to be sipping the vet. That's what we're going for. So, let's get out of the stink pit, huh? You took the words out of my mouth. Lead the way. Done. Where do we go next? I think we'll go up this way. Jundland, oh no, Jundland. Draw the Padawan's movements. Get out of this cave, then it would seem. Oh, good, and I can't mount inside the cave, which has clearly got plenty of room for mounting. <laughs> you just, you just wanted to. I said mounting far too much for you not to notice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hero, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> Absolutely yeah. nothing and enjoy the chaos. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Alright, now I'm going to go up <laughs> this way. <laughs> and... There's a path or something that I have to do. 
This planet won't take long. Turn up after driving for three hours in the first I already this list is classic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh dear. You definitely was. <laughs> Firefed, every time you jump onto my stream for Star Wars, I either said something horrifying or <laughs> Dissilus has typed up something ridiculous. <laughs> Wasn't it last time you jumped on that <laughs> that I'd said I'm gonna kill everyone in this room? <laughs> You're like, yep, yeah, this is a pretty ordinary stream then. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, what the? Some people are running out in horror. Why? Oh, because I'm covered in the sand demon blood. That's why. Okay. Okay. Better get out of here, Elana Rook. There he goes. I think there's like one sand person in here that I got. Oh, I'm sorry. As a Middle Easterner, saying sand people feels a bit on the nose. <laughs> but they, that's what they are, I guess. And the that they don't go around screaming, my friend, my friend, everyone. please. And then they come in and try to sell me a rug. Yeah, holy lay it up. That's gonna be so. Could you imagine if they did though? Oh man! Just every every sand person screams in the distance. My friend, 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 friend. That's what they were doing. My friend, <laughs> friend, 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 friend. rug. <laughs> they are called Tuscan Raiders. Yeah, that's true. They're all from Tuscany, so even the um, Italians aren't having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lucas. Uh, I think the the uh, law creator couldn't make up their mind. Yeah, that's right. Oh, here we go. I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. Speaking the earlier, sand people all ran to from you. <laughs> that's okay. What transpired the inside the sand demon cave? For the what makes people. So. That's true, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, sand people ran from you. It's transpired inside the sand cave. That makes sense. Um, I tamed the beast. I mastered the demon without lifting a finger, and it shed its skin. Remarkable. And you have bathed in the demon's essence. Yeah. The Jedi Padawan must have done the same. It's alright. Now, this planet is redemption arc material, this is where apparently. Your path will be illuminated. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the sand people approaches. Here he comes. One of the sand people approaches. <laughs> On your guard. People shaman, cowers and grunts. Before you, when holds out a withered parchment. Take the parchment and kill the sand person. I'm just gonna take the parchment. I'll take that. I'm not gonna kill him this time. Remember, this is the first time he experienced getting a task done without having to kill something. Approach an outsider in peace. This parchment yes. the sand person brought is remarkable. Doesn't mean I won't commit acts of evil throughout the game. It just means he's going to be a little bit less of a dick. It marks a door carved into the wall of the desert wound ravine. But I've mapped this ravine, and there is no such door. Perhaps the sand people know the desert better than you. Perhaps. An unsettling thought. An unsettling. It's their native the homeland, you racist. Anyone I know of has dared venture. <laughs> Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealth using the dune shadows. Just stay out of my way. So be an asshole. Choose in hand-to-hand -hand <laughs> combat anyway. Darth Barris enlisted my services to be scout and lookout, and I intend to do my job. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the desert wound ravine. Safe journey. Okay, safe journey. Peace be the journey. Some cool runnings happening here, guys. Except, is that still. Yeah, see, none of this armor is good enough for me until older on, anyway. Personal conquest increase. But, uh, trek to the oasis. If I get there, right? And. And I. And I hear. Follow me. Got my spine, I got my orange crush. 
Then I'll know I've gone to the wrong oasis. Oh wait, that's right, because that was REM, that wasn't Oasis, what's happened to me? <laughs> I studied music my entire life and I made such a simple error. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Alright, I'm going to have to go to, god, it's still in the desert, are you serious? Oh, I'm just going to, just going to port over here. If I get there and uh, they start singing Wonderwall, I'm done. Add post Barrett. Feeling there's also a flight path to the left as well. So oh, let's try and so oh, I was right. Okay, good. I would have ridden there too if I didn't check the flight paths. Like a like a heathen. I think you're in the similar area to me now too. I'm just south of you. It's about the big things, but about little things you can do every day to make people's lives worse. <laughs> it is, but that sounds familiar, Fire Fan. I can still be a nice guy, and you know, but I can still also be a major inconvenience to people too. See, it's a different kind of evil. If <laughs> you do it in such a way, they think they've done it to themselves. Yes! <laughs> oh man. Uh. <laughs> Gonna haunt me? Oh, every sand person here is dead. I don't understand why they're not running away from me. I am covered in that blood still. I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to choke you out. That's how it died. It grunted out its asshole. Oh, there's more sand people, and they were, and they were hiding in the sand. Well, I guess you're going to take up the namesake. Oh, here we go. You're coughing and beating, aren't you? Firewalker. You get sued by uh, Luke Skywalker's family. Oh, sorry, it's not Luke Skywalker anymore, is it? It's, it's Ray. Real life name, Ray Palpatine. A change of family, changes name to Warscar. Skywalker. Oh dear. When she does, everybody gets mad at her. This looks more like they're actually canyon people or cave people than sand people. Yeah, it really does. Gotta watch out for the Kenyan people. <laughs> or the Calabrese invaders. <laughs> As it were. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Take that, beef sand people firewalker. Yes, er, indeed. Forces. One of the extra side quest nonsense. Shout at you. Shout. Shout. Let it all out. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I'm gonna go all the way around. Ah, oh, crap. Gotta go into the deep. Fire just spit fire at me? How dare he? Where, where did he get petrol from? I probably robbed a bunch of jawas. Mm. Yeah, keep grunting, Firewalker. People, you have to really have to look for the ones you picked on the banjo. <laughs> 
Yeah, if I'm coming fighting these sand people, then I hear ding 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 ding. ding. You got a real pair of mouth. Get over here, boy. Make it feel like a pig. <laughs> then I know I've stopped playing Star Wars. I'm playing Deliverance. I'm feeling romantical. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, oh, hang on. All these sand people here. <laughs> Stop it. I think, um. Oh, I've got a purple eye. Oh, it's not like, um, casino ship. May as well kill these sand people and get the quest up anyway. They're right near a bantha, huh? Okay, everybody's blind now. And they're all going to die. Now, nope, you tried to snipe me, you're gonna get the choke treatment. Whoa. Okay. That. Now I'll go back to where I'm supposed to go. Into this big old door. A lot of sand people today. Not a lot of guilt. Is there a sort of a kill on sight kind of deal? Ah, here is this river. Oh, okay, this will expand on it. I'm sure it will. Something's gonna happen here. Okay. Oh boy. You have lost your way, Dark One. But I have come to correct your course. I am the embodiment of your greatest potential. I am what you could be if you overcame your fear and walked in the light. It's worked better than I expected. Okay. Impossible. You're trying to trick me. Only someone riddled with fear lies to himself. The light eliminates the need for such fear. Let me prove that I am you. We hunt Noman Kar's Padawan, who can see the true nature of anyone. Our master, Darth Barris, fears that this girl will expose his network of spies and bring about his demise. What are we saying? You require a time check. A time check? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got to finish this part real quick and I have to log off under this. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I accept that you are the light side of me. So what? So, I am here to save you. If you persist down this path, your life will be consumed by paranoia and fear. The trail will wait around every corner. You will never know whom to trust. I never thought of it that way. Let me enlighten you. Go. Oh, light side redemption. Actually, you see, I don't even remember this. This worked out really well. The force. It treats the force as an adversary to be used and manipulated. When you embrace the light, you meld with the force, become part of it. Then true clarity and peace can be achieved. I can see why that would have its advantages. It is the true purpose of the force. Look at our master. If the dark is so potent, why is Darth Barris deathly afraid of a young girl? Noman Kar's Padawan is merely a nascent champion of the light, and already she strikes fear into the heart of a dark side master. That is a powerful argument. Maybe the light is stronger. Then choose now to reverse your path. Commune with me, turn away from the darkness, and walk among the enlightened. I deny the dark side and endeavor to embrace goodness. You are wise. We embrace now, and you take your first step toward truth and purity. It's worked out better than I expected. If you get a chance to watch the VOD later, hero, from where oh, I'm sitting. God. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes, you have opened yourself to your true destiny. Now we are one. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Thanks, Dicilis. <laughs> you dropped a fart on me. <laughs> Tell me more of this. <laughs> There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yonlock beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. Okay. What if she saw any of that? Here she comes. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? <laughs> that is my understanding. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that wow. no one can survive. No one. Even the sand people dare not go. You mustn't go. The opposite is true. I must. Mm. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. Not good. Just tell me where to go. <laughs> Will that be about it? Heavy heart, I give you the location of the Forbidden Pass. I am ashamed that my cowardice paralyzes me. I fear I will never see you again. I'll be fine. I don't plan on dying in this desert. You and his tone is to now changed. Pass, that is exactly what you are doing. Gotta get rid of that dark side corruption now. They get a new armor. Yeah, but it's still shit compared to what I'm currently wearing. Okay, that's 72 conquest points. On the next, go back up here. I've almost done this quest line anyway. Finish it off while I'm here. Displaying all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. Hey, where are you? Are you finishing up your quest line? Oh, pretty much finished. Yeah. Just go search for Wilkes, man. Search for Wilkes? Oh, that's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm practically in the Dune Sea. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that search is pretty quick actually. If I remember correctly. I, I remember the um, sorcerer story inside out, but the other stories I have very little memory of. Mm. Okay. The whole potential to be redeemed happening so soon. I like that approach. This way now. You know what, I feel slack putting the hot, like the, these paws on this hot desert sand. I'm gonna get my motorbike out. There we go. Just slowly stalking you in the distance. Oh, there you are, are you now? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't your stuff like, oh, you got a, a point up to top north as well? You're just following me. Yeah. I see you. Hi! <laughs> Do you think that maybe Sauron wasn't saying that he sees you when you put, got the ring on or something? Maybe he was asking you to take him to the intensive care unit because he is just an eye now? He's just begging for help? Um, that's what I think anyway. Alright, can I go? It's gonna be interesting. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, you leak. 
control your feelings. Stand at my side. Okay. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't insult me, child. You are an open book to me. You are here for her. Okay. I know it. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I only seek to talk to her. I will not fall for your manipulations either. <laughs> you showed restraint yeah. and reason on your journey here. Your choices reflect conscientiousness I've never witnessed in a Sith. They didn't show restraint all the time. They showed it sometimes. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I've come too far to stop now. What does it matter how far okay. you've come if your life ends here? In me you face a full Jedi Master. And Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. <laughs> Didn't want to do I'm this. I'm nervous. Have we ever faced a full-fledged card-carrying Jedi Master before? The Jedi have no idea how lethal you are, Vet. I sense that's a bluff, but no matter. You sense it's wrong. Query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. He's as wrong as the um. I don't know what to say. Oh, he's thunder. Well done, Master Yanlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, okay. me, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. You don't fight fair, Jedi. When the stakes are this high, I am bound to do whatever it takes to preserve the Order. Now for the last time, will you stand down? I don't think he knows that I'm standing right behind him. I can't see him. Apparently. Let me think about it. Enough of this! It's useless to reason with the Sith. Oh boy. You leave, don't. Please, as my hand is forced. There we go. Okay, actually, you know, you're not as really welcome because Vet is down. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna choke him out. To Yanlock. Stop. Healthy Hold monkey. your weapon, Sith. I beg you. You leave. Yeah, yeah. Stay your tongue. No. She is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith. Hey, why is he a master? I'll tell you like everything that? I know. No if idea. You spare Master Yanlock. I don't think I know if you spare Master. Don't you want me to spare you, too? My life is less important. You may do with me as you please. Her name is Jaisa Wilson, and Noman Carr has taken her to. Oh, here we go. Me. You have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Wow. Now, sleep. Put to sleep. I do not relish wiping Yuli's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't apologize for doing what's necessary. He just proves that he was weak will. Last yeah. how, he, how could he be a master? Had to act for the greater good. Jesa is it's terrible. Her it's power terrible. unprecedented. <laughs> if untouched Hypocrite. by the of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You are filled with presumptions, Yon Lark. Mm -hmm. I mean her no harm. I know your mind, Sith. You twist the truth and manipulate weakness. I must err on the side of caution. You think that's no what you think? Jesa's name. But that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility. Okay. So Jason will sense only peace when you strike me down. I refuse to deal the killing blow. Just tell her I want to talk. You only wish to send a message? I am at a loss to understand you, Sith. Yeah, because you're judgmental. Because Remember, the link we share, I just merged Jason with my force ghost that's the light here. side version of me? Your message has been received. She will do with it what she will. 
I leave you to wrestle with what you did to your fellow. <laughs> I do feel the shame of my actions. <laughs> it will be difficult to live with. Goodbye, Sith. You've left me with much to ponder. I mean, like three times you did state well, specifically you. you're only there to talk. Oh, yeah, that's right. At this judgmental bastard, I can read your mind. I mean, no, you friggin' can't. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah. Not so at all. crazy. It's infuriating not being able to wipe the sweat dripping from my nose. It's just insane. So, like, Sharik said she'd be a dick. Shit. No, I'm not. I just want to check. I can read your yeah, mind. Well, you pretty face. shoot at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, she, she thought we'd done it. I can't wait to so look at her face. Um, here we go. She will be surprised to see us. Nice. I'll practice my smug look on the way there. All right, trying to be less evil now. Here we go. I've got to go back to the ship, so we'll just fast travel back there. Which is that? Wait, is it the ship? Is she back? Where is she at? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go find the people. Finish what you got to do. Got to mm -hmm. find my quest. Oh, it is at the spaceport. Yeah, because you once you finish there, you'll be at the spaceport too. Yep. Okay, let's go back here. My companion. Come out. Good to stretch the old legs. Okay. So this is where the scum of the galaxy congregate. Not sure I see the appeal. That's right. Off my mount. Okay, so I've now reached the max level for this planet, which means the next planet I'll have to do all the quests and side quests to make it worth my while. Plus, the stories start to make sense from older on onwards, anyway. Yeah. For the, um, That'll be as far as I know. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was I gonna go to play past Alderaan. Really? Yeah, oh, when yeah. when I played it years ago, Alderaan was a difficult planet for me to get beyond as well. Um, but now, this should be a, a a walk of cake, as it were. A walk with cake. Yeah, cake. it's a cake walk. I, I can't remember why cake walk was what it meant. It was something so simple, but like I can't remember why they called it that. Yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. That's the Tad. Okay, and here is Bree. I never expected to see you again. Oh yeah. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yama? Uh, yeah. I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. He's still arrogant, remember. This is a great lesson. But he's trying to be more the light side. The barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know. And I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. You have learned much from this. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. Mm -hmm. I shall never forget you. I bid you farewell. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. I don't want to see you if I'm on Tatooine again. You need to leave. Ugh. I hope we never come back to this sandy inferno. It's bad for my complexion. If we never return here, I won't miss it. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Okay, now I can get out of getting to the ship, use the hollow terminal, and then call it. Here we go. Out it goes. Bum, bum, bada, bum. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> it's a shame I can't play the game's music that's coming through because it's so epic, but yeah. I don't want to get it smacked upside the head with that DCMA notice. Yeah, very, very, very valid. Mm -hmm. Hollow terminal to wrap it up. You have done admirably, Apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. 
Norman yeah. Clark's Padawan Jason Wilson no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. Okay. I haven't found her yet. This is a lesson I do not need to be taught, youngster. <laughs> Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. I feel like Darth Barris Norman will be Clark the kind of Jason person who Wilson won't have an email address and insist you call them with updates on their cases. It's the calling for customer service. <laughs> Land is well conceived. You certainly have a lot riding on that theory, Barris. Oh, mm. don't doubt me. It's not a theory, Apprentice. Only Alderaan remains. Jason Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive. Got a new lightsaber. Okay, it means so I can finally start updating the bits and pieces and parts of it when I get back to the Sith Imperial fleet which I've got to remember to do when I log back in uh, thanks so much for joining me everybody I hope you've had an awesome evening wherever you are or awesome day for that matter wherever you are in the world if you know my channel hit that follow button and check out my schedule so you can actually see when I'll be live next music is brought to you by a streaming service called pretzel rocks pretzel or pretzel rather and it rocks this is where all you get your DCMA free music Get your hands on that as soon as you can. Last but not least, if you're new to my channel and you're following me already, but you want to communicate with me off stream or have a chat with the community, this Discord is where everything is at. I did say last but not least, but I feel silly. All VODs will be um, loaded on YouTube within 24 hours. Sure, I do have VODs showing up on Twitch, but sometimes Twitch likes to mute things. This way, you won't get any mutes throughout the VOD at all. So, that's it from me, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me here. I'm going to leave the Discord now. You have a lovely day. Be safe, man. Okay. See you Bye. next time. And that's it for me as well, guys. I'm Iron Wombat. This is Iron Wombat Gaming saying, remember, it's a bee stick between death and glory. Bye for now, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe for more content. See you next time.